Welcome back to the Sneaker Bench for the first ever episode where Raj and I are both on camera. Wow. Today we're talking about our on feet of the day. We are wearing some interesting things. Raj, today, what are you wearing? I'm wearing the Super Burkies. I've just been fucking with these clogs. They're really comfortable. Super Burkies. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just like them. It's what I was wearing today, so. He's not a liar. And today <laughs> I'm wearing one of my more favorite releases of 2021, I believe. It is the Stussy Harachis in the, the tan colorway that I think originally released in 2001. Um, very cool color with very cool history. And tell, tell them the history. Tell them the history. History, I believe, if I am correct, that it is the first like streetwear collaboration with Nike or even any big sneaker brand in general. But anyways, today we are talking about our top five sneakers of the year so far. All right. And this is a disclaimer. Before we say anything is this is all based on opinion. We are not doing anything objective here. This is all subjective. We are not talking about what we think is the best releases of the year. No. We are not talking about what we think is best for the culture or anything of that nature. Maybe that factors into our decisions a little bit, but this know, is really just our favorites. Yep. So starting off with our honorable mentions, I don't know Raj's list. Raj doesn't know mine. Um, we may have suspicions, but Raj, what is your one honorable mention. So my one honorable mention has to be the Air Zoom Generations, the first games that came out. I thought those were so cool when they came out. Spiro got a pair. Um, I unfortunately missed, um, but it's just such a cool sneaker and like the history behind it is really cool. And I think it's funny how like, it's the first sneaker that they retro for LeBron and it's like the game he didn't even play well. I just, <laughs> I just like that shoe. It's cool. It's seems like a super like nineties wearable shoe. And, um, it's got a lot of history to it, so I fucked with that shoe heavily. As Raj said, I had the shoe, so I also fucked with it. But um, they've, you know, they've released other retro LeBrons, but I do think that is a really cool um, Zoom Generation One, and yeah, I think I think that's a good pick. What's and yours? My honorable mention is, and this might be to surprise, is the reimagined Jordan Threes. It is my honorable mention. Um, I'll explain why I didn't put that on my top five later but I do have a pair I do really like them but I did not put them on my top five I think they're great but sometimes I just feel a little weird about putting sneakers that have I guess they are reimagined they are aged but it's that's a white cement three that's come out yeah. so many times um, and it's a great sneaker but part of me feels a little weird putting it on a top five list it would of course be on a top ten list of mine but for sure that's my honorable mention Anyways, getting on to our number five. Raj, what is your number five sneaker? Of My the number five sneaker of the year is the Wales Bonner, the new SL72 Knits, the green colorway. I just think those are so cool, and I love the silhouette. I love the small silhouette. Of, that is the way the sneakers are going, and I just like that they're doing more collabs on like old Adidas models, and that's one of the really cool ones, in my opinion. I um, also just really like when... I just like Wales Bonner's shoes. Like he does a lot of cool shoes and that's probably my favorite one out of the release that he did this year. Wales Bonner is very cool. I also agree with Raj. I think it's cool that a lot of the more retro and kind of obscure uh, Adidas models that are popular in England and Europe are coming over more to the US. That was Raj's number five. What's your five? My number five is the Asics House Studios 1130s. Um, I wanted an A6 on the list. I know I did get an A6. I did get this pair already. We made a video about it, so if you want to watch it, go click the link. Um, but I really love them. Materials, great. Such great materials on those. Like we said in the video, that is literally one of the best smelling shoes I have ever <laughs> seen, had in my life, ever. Such a good shoe. That is why they made it in at my number five. I do really like how they keep coming out with like new collabs with Asics too. Like uh, Asics is a brand that like historically was kind of like overlooked a little bit, and I think like the fact that they're kind of coming back into like that main stage of like obviously they're not as big as New Balance, but like they're in the same relatively the same conversation. And I just like that they're kind of coming back. And also all those old runners that like everyone made fun of in high school, 
like all the cross country kids would wear them. Now they're like, now they're cool. Now they're cool. Now they're, <laughs> and it's because of a lot of the A6 collabs. There's a lot of the New Balance collabs, but um, yeah, I just I, I like when old utility stuff comes back, and that's a big like very cool. <laughs> Anyways, coming in at number four, Raj, what do you have? I have four? the Bodega Trail Less Taken Six Tens. I. So, you got your pair of six tens, and then I went into a deep dive on six tens, and these are just so sick. I, there's so many different colors on them. I really like them, and it's a shoe that like, it's a shoe that like, the only, not everyone's gonna like know it as a sneaker sneaker, and I just think that's cool. Like I saw them on the street the other day, and I was able to like legit compliment them because I knew this guy knows about sneakers if he has these, and it was, I, I just like that shoe. There's a lot of cool colors on them, and the six tens are a really cool silhouette. I like that hiking's coming back too. Uh, yeah, those are cool. Not necessarily personally for me. Usually I'm more of a white focused sneaker guy rather than a darker sneaker just because I th it looks better with the clothes I wear most of the time. But um, I do think those are cool. And like Raj said, I think the the sneaker sneakers, when you see people on the screen, you're like, oh, those are cool. That it, he's right. That's a cool. It's a good feeling being able to compliment yeah. something. It's also a good feeling when you're wearing something and someone says like, hey, man, like cool shit. Um, and if you're wearing something weird, like obscure, like the Hirachi I'm wearing right now is a cool shoe, but like no one in their in their right mind that doesn't know anything about sneakers would compliment a, a tan Hirachi if they didn't know it was a historical shoe from 2001. <laughs> <laughs> see the review on those, but what happened? There's a there? huge spider. There's a look at this bug carrying a spider. Holy <laughs> shit! Um. Anyways, what were you saying? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know. What's your fourth sneaker? Come in. <laughs> Sorry. ALD New Balance 860 V2. In any of the colorways, I think the green is probably my favorite, but I like the blue and the red um, as well. Yeah. I think those are just so cool. Um, so sick. I've been seeing a lot of those on social media. and uh, It's hard to see stuff in person sometimes, even though yeah. we live in a high traffic area, still don't see things all the time but yeah. those are just a great sneaker such very wearable but at the same time they have a big splash of color all the way yes. um would not be surprised if uh you see those on the channel <laughs> relatively soon <laughs> in some way shape or form but i just really like those i think it's a great shoe it doesn't seem to be making a ton of waves on other sneaker media and their top Five ten list or whatnot. At this point, it's like, oh, ALD is releasing another sneaker, blah, 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 blah. But they're good sneakers. They look really yeah. cool. And if I were to get a pair in hand, I would be curious to seeing how they fit, feel, and how the materials look um, in person. But I really like them, and yeah. I would love to have a pair. Yeah, and I think that's another shoe where it's like, they're, it's coming back to that like old running silhouette and it's coming back going back to like that old like 2000s like running era style shoe and i just i like that that's coming back i think that's a very cool uh and it's cool that ald is doing that as well because you a lot of sometimes their releases are a little bit less experimental especially with like all their 550s and stuff but that's a really cool one for sure okay coming into this is a top three of the year top three. top three of the year Coming in at number three for Raj is what? The New Balance 990 V6, the My USA Gray Days. So this is, I believe it's a, I don't think it's like a, it's not a collab, it's, I think it's like a relatively GR colorway. I think it might be GR, but I just GR. like, I like these a lot. I think that if there was a collaboration, it would be like everywhere and everyone would have them, but they're not, and I think GR colorways often look just as cool, and this is one of them. Um, I just love the navy paneling. I think the shades that they did were really good. I like that they added like hints of cream on the outsole. I just, I really like this shoe. I think the 990 V6 is one of the best um, silhouettes, at least. New of, silhouettes. Yeah, one of the best new silhouettes that's come out in a while. So it's like, I just really like them. They're really, they look super comfortable. Everything I've heard about them has been great. The materials are great on them. They're also made in the USA, which for me is like, I like that. Um, I think that's very cool, so. It's a great, great sneaker. I think it looks super cool and it's very wearable as well. Yeah, I think that's a good pick. I love the 990 V6s. Um, and I think they're going to come out with a lot of cool new colorways. Teddy yeah. Santis is coming out or as he's doing his, but that might be one of those pairs yeah. that we'll put up on the screen if it is or not. Um, the Teddy Santis ones are so sick. But they're coming out with all these like 990 V6s with like pink and purple yeah. hits around them and stuff. That stuff's just awesome. I love yeah. that stuff. Not that I need any of those because I have to show restraint somewhere. <laughs> but 
those colorways are really cool and the 980 v6s the 990 v6s look really cool and even a simple gray pair like that because those are classic for new balance um with the little tweaks are are very very cool the, yeah they, i really like them what's your what's your three my number three is the jordan four the sb jordan four the pine yeah. green sb jordan four i love those i didn't necessarily want to put two jordans on my top five list just because i don't necessarily think it was a it's been a huge year for Jordan, um, and I like the Jordan 4s more. I like Jordan 4s more than Jordan 3s in general. Yeah. And also, they did change the weight, and they changed the material and the yeah. flexibility of the Jordan 4 to be a skateboarding shoe. Yeah. I, of course, do not have a pair, because you would have you would have seen a video of that. <laughs> and I probably never will have a pair, because they're so expensive. But they changed the actual you know, complexity and the weight yeah. of the shoe, which I think is really cool when they do that. They definitely made it more of a new thing rather than they did with the Reimagined 3s. But like I said, I'm not hating the Reimagined 3s. I have the Reimagined 3s, I love them. But the Jordan 4 SB, the SB Jordan 4s, they're just, they're so good, they're so cool. Simple, but yeah. very good. No, yeah, th that's a great shoe. And I, I really do like when they kind of mix up the tech on some of those older silhouettes, because it just made, it brings them into, you know, the, it brings them into like kind of the modern into the modern tech world and i just think it's very cool and it's cool when they do something different and like a lot of times uh, people crap on jordan which i think it's a i think it's a fair assessment but like a lot of times they don't like jordan because they just all they do is just recycle silhouettes and recycle colorways that's like that that's cool when they change things up like that i think it's interesting but raj what is your number two sneaker of the year my number two sneaker of the year is the action bronson um what are, the Lapis Lazuli. The Lapis Lazuli Action Bronsons. I just think this is so cool. I, I, there's so many interesting colors on here. It's still like a very Action Bronson sneaker, but he made it super wearable, which I really like. I think that's a huge thing for me, um, is just being like muted enough to the point where like you can wear it with a lot. And this is a shoe that definitely fits that bill. Like it, they're just, they're super interesting, but at the same time, like muted enough to the point where you're not gonna like stand out or like people aren't gonna be like, oh, you're wearing like a kid's shoe? like. Not that the other ones are like that, but they're very loud. And these ones are just more muted. I really like them. Um, also, the laces, I, those laces on that shoe just look so freaking cool. I, I can just like imagine like looking down at them and seeing those laces and it's just like... They're maroon and yellow? They're Yeah, they're like this like red and yellow. They just had a first release, but they are having a second release, yeah. which on the 30th. will be more wide. So yeah, keep your, your eyes out on the 30th like we were just talking about. The 990 V6s are a very cool sneaker in general. And this is a good time to note that Raj has multiple pairs of New Balance 990 V6s on his list. So not only is it a big year for New Balance, um, just the 990 V6s obviously piquing Raj's interest, which- They should be honored, honestly. That means, uh, it means a lot for the community. Yeah. Anyways, coming in at my number two is, and I believe this is how you say it, the Cortez Air Max 95. I like all the colorways. I think the green, the blue, or the pink, they're all cool. If I had to pick one, I would probably say the pink, but I've seen none of these in person. So the I thought I might really like the blue, but in pictures, like the blue bubble, the air bubble you can't see as well as like the pink really, really, really pops on, on those bubbles. And I just love Air Maxes. I love when there's cool new collaborations coming out and I love 95s. Um, I personally only have the Neon 95s, but I'm hoping to get a, another pair of 95s soon. I would love to have the Cortez 95s, but I will probably never have them by the fact that they are so darn expensive. Maybe I find a used pair down the line somewhere, but that'll probably be a while from now before right. anybody wears them enough to be depreciated for <laughs> them to be in my price range. <laughs> Raj, what's your number one sneaker? My number one sneaker, and this is a sneaker that I actually got, but I haven't gotten it in hand yet, is the Clark's 8th Street Sambas, the Ronnie Feig collab with Clark's. It's the Samba with like the crepe outsole that is on all the Clark's Wallabies, and I'm just so excited about that shoe. It's so cool. I love the integration of the two, of like Ronnie Feig with Clark with Adidas. I think that's super cool. Um, there's an extremely wearable shoe, which is huge, as you can tell, that is a big, of huge importance to me. And it's just a shoe that I think is gonna look better every time you wear it. It's a shoe that's like, just super interesting because it's different enough from the actual Sambas to like not be a Samba, but it's 
interesting enough to be like its own thing and I just I really like them I think they're super cool and I I got an email last week saying there's two months out so in two months you'll be, you will, the, you'll be seeing a video on that shoe because <laughs> I got them on the pre-order not on the actual drop I just like when companies kind of take risks and although it's like not necessarily a risk where it's like oh I don't know if the shoe shoe's gonna be cool it's a risk to even like go on to start that operation and I just think it I just really like them. I, they're, they're so cool. They're super interesting. The crepe outsole just looks so good on that silhouette. And all three colorways are cool. The white ones with the green stripes are the ones that I have on this list. But like, they're all just like super interesting. They're all done very differently. And I just, I, I like them. And props to all three parties. Yeah. Ronnie, Clarks, and Adidas for, they had their initial drop. They had so much traffic that the site got overloaded like they yeah. they there was so much more demand and then they went out and did the pre-order which is really yeah. cool you don't see much stuff like that and you know at the same time yeah we want limited sneakers we want to be able to have something that other people don't have but it, for them to recognize so many people want this and they're like yeah. okay guys whoever wants it can get it is really cool yeah. and you've got to appreciate that in some way shape or form I think and Coming in at my number one sneaker of the year is the original Action Bronson 990 V6s in the, you know, whatever you want to call it, original pistachio. I've heard all sorts of names, um, but it's the crazy sneaker. We've done a video yeah. on it. I love Action Bronson. I, I'm a big fan of his music. I'm a big fan of his cooking show. I'm a big fan of just about everything he does because uh, I think he's a funny cool guy and he's true to himself and yeah. I think that's really cool and that you know true to himself nature I feel like is perfectly depicted in the crazy sneaker that is the original color yeah. of his 990 V6 I think they're so great I think you know it's just a perfect picture of his mind <laughs> and if you guys want a, a fun time if you haven't watched them already go watch like the rollout videos he did with GQ and like the <laughs> full size run video he did where he's just trying to like explain but not not explain at the same time <laughs> why he made the sneaker the way he did I like his sneaker a lot it is my favorite of the year that so far and I don't foresee that changing too much for the rest of the year who knows some of these things might move up and down I'm when sure it, they will. When it comes to the end of the year, we might have a s different format-ish for our end of the year's best sneakers, but we'll wait till we get there to figure that out. Those are our top five sneakers of the year so far. Again, if you made it this far and you don't know, this is a subjective list. <laughs> that We are picking sneakers that we like, and we're yeah. not trying to say anything other than that we like these sneakers yeah sneakers that we don't have sneakers that we do have sneakers that we might never have sneakers that we maybe might have and make a video of yeah. relatively soon all sorts of things but we hope you guys enjoyed uh let us know what your what you think your top five are let us know if you hate our list or if you think one of our lists was wrong or something if you i think don't we're know. idiots yeah let us but know. thank you guys for watching thank you to everyone who has subscribed we have 33 subscribers wow. at this God. certain moment of filming and that may seem like a very small number but this has been really fun for us and we appreciate everybody who's subscribed so if you're subscribing and you're watching this video drop a comment down below we appreciate you thank you guys and have a great day see ya